What up guys, Harkin crew here. Jay's laying on the dock. I'm sitting <laughs> water level in the canoe and uh, we're about to, she's about to hop in the canoe and we're about to go for a little stroll. So yesterday, my aunt tagged us in a photo on Facebook of somebody with an alligator sighting on the lake. Lake Conway has been known to have random alligator sightings for years and We've never seen one. We've never seen one and me living on the lake for However long this has been, like 16 years, and being out here every day, I've never encountered an alligator. And all the alligator sightings are in this area. So we're gonna paddle over to where that alligator was supposedly seen, and uh, see if we can get our eyes on it. And if we don't, then we're gonna let the myth continue, and the legend of the lake call me alligator to continue also. And I'm not, I'm not convinced there's a gator out here until I see it. So Jay and I are gonna go after him, maybe we'll have some luck. Wish us luck on the alligator hunt. If we see one, we'll, we'll uh, be sure to get the big lens out and video it for you guys. There's one out here. I hope we find it. Yeah, we're after it. <laughs> Let's go. Well, folks, our expedition looking for gators is coming to a close, and Jessica and I did not see any gators. Doesn't mean there's not any out there. There's a lot of places for them to hide, but we didn't see them. We checked all the grass mats. We uh, paddled around the whole perimeter of where the gator was last spotted, and uh, chuck checked through the swamp a little bit, but we didn't see them. That's okay. Maybe another day we'll be surprised with the gator. But not today. Okay, so Cole just caught some bait, and normally we wait until like right before it gets dark to set out some lines, but I'm craving fish tonight, and I don't wanna wait till really late, so I think we're gonna go out right now and bait the lines, so hopefully we can catch some before dark and eat some for dinner. The Gucci with you? Sounds really good to me, I love fish. <laughs> Jessica, Jessica gets on to me for wanting to eat fish all the time, so anytime she recommends it, I'm 100% down with it. <laughs> we're gonna take our shed, and I go bait some lines up. This is one of our best lines we got. Lucky tree. Nothing like fresh shad. Hopefully get us one. We got a fish. Already? Yeah, we got a fish. Got a fish, guys. Looks like a cat. All signs are put point for catfish on this one here. Oh, baby. Ready? I'm ready. Be big in. <laughs> oh. Little guy. Little pity guy. We got another one. 
Oh really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's getting lit out here. What do you think? Is he make it? Ah, uh, we can let him go. Fish number two looks like a steamer. Gentlemen's bet it's bigger than the last one. It's gotta be. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not much bigger. <laughs> oh, come on! He's big enough though. There's number two. This one here's gonna make it. He's a little bigger. Hooked up in the other one. Woo, oh, it's swinging, a good one! Swinging. Yeah! <laughs> Sweet! Now this one is going on my dinner plate for show. <laughs> Oh, show, she said. <laughs> Hold up your trophy, Jerry. That's nice one, it's about a two and a half pound channel cat. Ain't too bad, we've only been out here about 15 minutes and just got them set. We were heading to the house to go chill for a little bit and we already got three fish. This is fun. Yeah, we're eating good tonight. <laughs> I think we got a great white shark on this one. <laughs> it's acting very aggressive. Oh, he's actually kind of, kind of thick. Oh. Oh, get in the pool, baby. Yeah. I'm eating tonight too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Woo. That's number four. We're doing big things out here on the lake today. Big things. It's the easiest way to catch catfish. By far. The easiest. Bait this one up. This is the last one we got to rebait. Head in for a little bit. It seems like we're gonna have a bunch when we come back out. I told Buggy to wag her tail because she thinks we got a fish on the line. Brittany's wagging her tail too. Wag her tail because you got a fish on the line. <laughs> All right, there's the rig. Get Jay to push that in for me. Bullfrog! There he went. That was what you needed. You got tea? Yeah. That's the I juice right there. <laughs> Man, it's starting to look good out here. Looking pretty. Might get some color tonight, I'm not sure. Ooh, it's bright. All right, my bet is we got five. You think five? Yeah. I'm gonna say six. Dang. One up you. Oh, let's go get him, Jay. Let's go. We got one on the same bush. The last bush we touched. Had a fish, and we rebaited it, and it's got another one. How's it feel? Feels small. Feels very sm slender. Oh. oh, we got a bullhead. <laughs> Look at that little feisty thing. Oh. They got sweet meat, I hear. Oh, gosh. Stick a finger in his mouth. Why? I'll just stare you too. <laughs> no way. No way, Jose. They bite. <laughs> I'm glad they're not flathead uh, catfish size. You gotta shake them off. We got one on this tree over here too. What the crap? See you later, buddy. You wanna eat them or you gonna throw them back? Mm, I'll throw them back. Okay, we'll see you later, bud. What you want him? You want him? Yeah, alright, we'll throw them back. I'm not against eating mud cat. I think they're Goodness. quite delicious. Yeah, you bitchy. I told you to let him bite you, and I didn't know you were going to. Ooh, got a tree shaker. Looks like a decent one. Not sure, though. Ooh. Look small? No. He's tugging like a channel cat. Oh, oh he's nice. Swing him! That's another eater for sure. <laughs> Hang the hook up. Yes. Got another one. Boom, shakalaka. Number eight. <laughs> That's eight. There's still one up there on that tree. All right, fellas, we've made contact once again. Shaking the whole dang tree. Might be a good one. Only time will tell. Come on, 
Oh, you got it. He put some slack in that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, slinging. Whoa. <laughs> Biggest one of the night. Number nine. And he's mighty fine. <laughs> Okay, this is not a catfish. Big old toothy critter. Woo! Oh, that's a big old spotted gar. That's pretty good for a spotted gar. Not what we're after. There's some guys that would eat this, but we're not going to eat him today. We're going to throw him back. This is a really nice one, and he, we got him unhooked. It's usually not that easy to get him unhooked without pliers, but we got it. All right. Get that. Get that beak. Those spots. These guys are so cool again. All the other lines over here are stale. Except for that one, it looks kind of suspicious. You ready, Jay? Mm hmm. Okay, let's, let's throw back our beast. Bye, buddy. See you later. I get slime off somehow. <laughs> that one there, that right there looks kind of suspicious. Pulling up on what could be our number 10. Oh, I see him. He didn't look too crazy. Hey, oh. <laughs> okay, that's number 10. Okay, well, we're heading in. I guess we got 10 total on catfish and then one gar. So that's 11 fish for 20 lines. So that's pretty darn good. Wouldn't you say, Cole? Yeah, that's, that's really good. 50% catch ratio. You can't beat that. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna clean the catfish and then we're gonna cook it. So stay tuned if you wanna see how we prepare and cook our fish. And I'm gonna help Cole paddle the rest of the way back. So we'll see you in the kitchen. All right, guys, let's see the catch we got. We got in a live box. Woo, it's getting heavy. Have a gander at that. Ooh. One of those fish looks like it doesn't belong. I think I'm gonna throw it back. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Today is your lucky day, buddy. You can just go back swimming. Oh, he says thank you. He's saying thank you. Hey, thank you, Cole. And he says bye. <laughs> we're gonna uh, get these guys and we're gonna clean them and uh, then we're gonna cook them. You like that? Yeah. I'm super I'm starving. starving. <laughs> I'm starving so bad. We worked hard for these fish. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. We really didn't work hard at all. I threw throwing it off the dock, caught some shad, baited up 20 lines, caught how many fish to catch? 11 fish? Mm -hmm. Caught 11 fish. One nine didn't catch fish. One run. Easy. Easy dinner. Okay. Easy peasy. That's easier than a TV dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna show you how we like to clean our catfish. Cole, take it away. All right, so we got these nice, beautiful catfish. Since, we, since we're cooking and cleaning these fish fresh, we had to uh, dispatch them. Method how we knock these fish out, we just bled the fish, which all you do is you just, you just take your knife or your cutters and you cut the gill and then you set them in the water and let them just drain out. And uh, it's a really quick and easy way to knock your fish out. So now we're gonna get down to the business end of this. Oops. This is our channel cat. And uh, I like to use electric knife. It just, you know, it speeds up the process. It's starting to get dark as you can see. So it's really good for cleaning fish really quick and catfish are easy and quick to clean. Anyways, I like to start by making my first incision up here. And then you run your blade down the spine laterally all the way to the tail. You don't want to cut all the way through because it makes it hard to get through and flip it over and cut. So now our fish is open. And you can see that since we, since we bled it, there's hardly any blood or anything in here. And um, sometimes I won't cut so far out because you don't want to expose all the guts, but we're just doing it that way today. And anyway, stick your fillet knife and run it back up. Body went with the adipose, man. Here's your 
here's your fillet. This is the ribs right here. So we're just gonna cut the ribs out. Here's our whole fillet. And since we're not gonna be eating this whole fillet, we're not gonna duck the whole thing in the fryer. We're gonna go ahead and trim it up. I like to trim it down the middle. There's that good piece of meat and then cut this in half. So now Jay, you can go down and check a, get a close up look at that. That's just one filet and it's turned into three nice edible chunks. Flip them back over and uh, same deal. Trim up some of this excess stuff. And there you go. That one fish provided us with one, two, three, four, five decent sized fillets. And these are the fish fry batters. I'm not sure which one we're gonna use. This is usually my champion right here. The blue bag, Louisiana seasoned fish fry. I like a little Cajun crispy though. And then we got the yellow, the New Orleans style seafood breading mix. I guess they're all New Orleans style, just about. This sucker has got the real lemon already added. We're gonna add lots of lemons to this, aren't we, Jay? You, you always do. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love me some lemons. I've never met anyone who loves lemons as much as Cole does. Here's our bounty right here. We got it soaking in salt water and lemon juice. Get it all cleaned up. We actually trimmed some of this meat. We didn't do it outside. I had, um, there's red meat. There's strips of red meat that are on the actual filet. And um, I kind of forgot about it while I was out there. Just because it was kind of dark. And then I wasn't really seeing it that well. But I came in here and I trimmed that off because you don't want any of that red meat on your fillets. You want it all to be nice and white. I'm sure you can hear our grease is getting hot. <laughs> a little bit of the water in there making that popping sound, I believe. But right now we're adding some of our fish to our breading. We didn't do anything extra or special to the breading. We're just using the breading as is. Just kind of shaking the excess moisture off of each little filet. And uh, now we're about to get to the fun part. That's some begging. Do it anyways. All right, now for the fun part. Shake it! Can I do the honors of shaking your fish? Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Shake it, girl. Shake it, country girl. Music. Country girl, shake it for me, girl. Come on, I ain't no country girl, Cole. Shake it for me, girl. Cole, I ain't no country girl. Shake it for me. Comment below if you think I'm a country girl. I ain't. <laughs> I'm tasty. Here it is guys, the finished product. We got the catfish on the left and the sweet potato fries on the right. You can't do fried fish without fries in my opinion. And uh, I'd like to take a moment to apologize for the color on the screen. Before we got to this moment, I real I didn't realize it, that the screen was all yellow. I was just, we were just videoing and everything looked yellow. We're gonna take this and load our plates up and eat. Take a chill pill and just Yum. Relax. We've been going at it all day long. I feel like we haven't stopped all day. I'm just ready to sit down. Exhausted. I'm ready to sit down and watch some baseball. Hey guys, as you can see, we've made our way onto the couch. We just wrapped up dinner time. It was awesome. The so food was good. so good. It was just what we needed. We've had a long day. 
We've been just going, going, going ever since we woke up and we stayed up late the night before. So we're at the point now where we're just hanging out on the couch, digesting, watching a little bit of MLB Network, watching a baseball <laughs> movie, and we're just going to kick you here for the rest of the night. We thank you so much for tuning into this video and following along with us today on our adventures and our journey out in the lake catching those catfish. It's super easy to catch those catfish. And it's fun. And it's fun. So we encourage you, if you've never done that before, to get out there and give it a try. It's a really easy way to put some food on the table, really fresh food on the table. And um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Drop us a comment below. You can ask us any question you like. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, we also want to say thank you so much for getting us to the 3,000 yeah. subscriber threshold. Isn't that exciting, Jay? <laughs> yeah. Moving on up. The best. I guess the next goal is going to be four and 5,000 and all the way up to 10,000. I don't know if it's possible, but we sure hope so. It's a lot of fun. We enjoy interacting and reaching out to all of you. And we couldn't do anything on this channel without you guys' support. So we thank you so much for that. And with that, I think we're just going to we're gonna end it here. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Good night.